What's up everyone? Welcome to What's New in NDT, where each month I talk about one thing that caught my attention in the field of non-destructive testing. This month, um, I'm going to talk about Southwest Airlines and the, the incident that happened with them. So let's take a look. Just minutes after takeoff, the parts of the plane's left engine broke off and shattered a window, killed a passenger. Right, so it was a 737 and a blade from the left side engine just broke off. It was, it was supposed to fly out of New York and land into Dallas, but it made an emergency landing in Philadelphia right here. Right, so this explains how it reached an altitude of 30,000 and then the blade broke off and it had to land back into Philadelphia. So people were literally left um, mid-air, in open air because the window was shattered and uh, the oxygen mass and everything dropped down. Um, I believe it was for like 15-20 minutes before they landed. Yeah, the sad thing is the passenger who was sitting at the window, she got sucked out and uh, eventually she died from injuries. Seven other passengers also injured. Upon further inspection, the, uh, what they found was there were fatigue cracks on the inside of the broken fan blade. But it was too early to tell whether they might have resulted from a manufacturing flaw. He said the crack was certainly not detectable from looking at it from the outside. The engine manufacturer instructs airlines to make ultrasonic inspections of blades in those kinds of engines, but this particular plane was not directed to do so. And, um, but they said in future they would speed up their ultrasonic inspections anyway. So we really don't know what exactly um, Happen, whether they did not do their inspections on time or whether they did and nobody found the crack or what's the exact reason but <clears throat> but hey we got to be careful as as NDT inspectors we got to be really careful um, if we are involved in such inspections any kind of inspections for that matter right it's, it's very critical and um, so Let's make sure that we stick to our ethics, we stay true to our values, and make sure that the inspections that we do are to the best of our knowledge.